Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Capricorn their monthly love read. Um, Capricorn, this is for the month of January 2022. Um, I've been telling everybody I'm going to try to keep saying 2022. I was watching a social media person and they said something like, let's not call it 2022 because it sounds like it's the second time around for 2020 and who wants to do that? So um, I'm going to try to say 2022. Um, we are going to get past, present, future energies for you, Capricorn. We are going to get um, a Romance Angel Oracle card, a Destined Love Oracle card, White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, and we're going to finish off the read with a Spirit Junkie card. Um, all the cards are listed below if you're interested in who, who the decks are by or whatever, what decks I use. They're all in there. These are general reads, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if you're interested in checking out your your moon or your rising signs because you feel like this doesn't resonate, um, there is a link in the description box below that you can go to if you need to find out what your moon and your rising signs are. Um, or there's also a link in the description box to go to my personal website to get a personal read. I think that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate all the support you give my channel. Um, I am so close to 100 um, subscribers. I'm hoping to get to 100 before the year changes over. So if you're watching this before January, please uh, just consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. But if not, that's okay too. I get it. Um, all right, guys. Sorry. Um, I'm sitting in my basement and this metal chair is cold and my shirt just went up in the back and made me cold. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to get started, Capricorn, uh, with past, present, and future energies. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, um, which is conflict or competition. So perhaps you are kind of going through some things. Um, it looks like your past was a bit rough, but maybe there's been some conflict and competitions. Hang tight, though, guys, because the Wheel of Fortune is underneath that, which is... Um, you know, a shift or a change in karma. Um, so good things are about to start happening. So just hang in there, okay? Um, all right, let's get started. Okay, in the past, Capricorn, um, it looks like you had lots of heartbreak here. So there's um, the Three of Swords is showing up, which is heartbreak, sadness, grief. Um, the Ten of Wands is also here, which is putting down a, a big burden. Something gets way too heavy. Um, for you to kind of deal with, so you have to kind of set it down. So this is probably pain and loss and grief that you're kind of putting down. The temperance card is also here um, showing up uh, to kind of remind you in the past that patience was required for the situation um, and that things can start to balance out. But I think that in the past, the recent past, you've been really kind of struggling with heartbreak, sadness, and burdens. Um you know, and that kind of goes along with this five of wands as the overall energy. In the present, you have uh, the four of cups, the king of wands, and the lovers. So I think that for some reason, Capricorn, you're kind of feeling like you've missed out on an opportunity or something's kind of boring for you right now. Like, I feel like more of it's like you missed out on an opportunity. Um, I feel like you should, I feel like um, that opportunity is kind of in your head, right? You feel like you missed out on opportunity, but you also have this king of wands here, someone who is very fiery, passionate, sexy, flirty, great humor, um, could be a little bit hot tempered, but, um, you know, life of the party, someone who's really fun to be around. So perhaps, um, with this lover's card being here, which is a uh, soulmate energy, true love, but it's also more so a choice in love. So I feel like your choice that you're kind of battling with Capricorn is between this fire sign that's or this fiery person that's in your life and your missed opportunity. So perhaps both of these aren't really choices. Like this one might not be available at this point, but you're kind of battling between um, which one do you want in your head? Like, do you want this person who's truly present or are you still focused on this missed opportunity? Um, so I think you are kind of trying to figure out what you want um, in terms of somebody you lost or 
this fiery new passionate person that's present. Um, so in the in the present in the future we have the death card, the three of cups, and the empress. I think I think this indecisive choice of this lover's card is going to come to an end. I think I think you're gonna pick something and kind of move forward with that situation. Um, it, the other two cards for the future are amazing. Excuse me, I like the hiccups. Um, we have the Three of Cups and we have the Empress. So um, the Three of Cups to me, people interpret this one differently, but it comes after the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups being like the card of soulmates. Um, the Three of Cups to me is like someone who you have like this true love connection with that has been like, that is not only your lover, but like such a close and personal friend. Some people just see this as like a fun celebration card. Um... I see it as a potential reunion card, which could be this missed opportunity that you're focused on from the past. But um, I think that this is a card of a very solid love. Could be like a wedding. It could be a wedding reception, like a fun kind of celebration um, with, with someone that you intently love um, or immensely love. And then we have the Empress. So... The Empress is like your divine counterpart. Um, the Empress is someone who is nurturing, empathetic, abundant. Someone who takes things and makes them into something bigger. Something that, someone that's motherly, that helps people grow and takes care of things. Just very balanced, and nurturing, and abundant. So um, I feel like either, you know, I feel like your choice in conflict is ending. Um, and you're going to come into this amazing relationship with someone that's going to be your divine counterpart. Potentially it could be you kind of leveling up, but I feel like more so this missed opportunity and this conflict is ending with the death card. All right. So we're going to get a romance angel Oracle card for you, Capricorn. Well, that one definitely wanted to come out. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah. And remember in the past, there's that temperance card there too. So faith and patience, right? And keeping an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your type, usual type and expectation. And true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, I believe all of that. All right, Capricorn, we're going to get a couple destined love oracle cards for you. Introverted lessons, home, loyal, mm -hmm. dating and romance on the bottom. So yeah, I think that um, I think that what you're doing, you know, I feel like I don't see a lot of introversion here, but I feel like maybe the introverted card would be. Um, I don't even know if that was a word that I just made of introversion. I don't see a lot of being introverted here except from the past um, when you were heartbroken and kind of healing and putting down a burden. I think in the past we did definitely learn some lessons here, Capricorn. Um, I do think that moving forward, this new person is going to be loyal and going to be someone you build a home with. I mean, the Empress is like a home, right? Like that they feel like home to you. So I think that that's what's coming for the future. All right, we're going to get a White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message. This is the second volume. We'll see what messages pop out for Capricorn. I want to dance across eternity with you. It's like we're star-crossed lovers. Will we ever make it work? Interesting, because I feel like the person from your past that created all that heartbreak could be the person coming back to you. I can't bear to build it all again to wash it wash away. Mm, so the choice is, yeah. And then the bottom of the deck says, the taste of your presence is something I will never, ever be able to forget. So definitely have some choices here from previously past learned lessons. All right, Capricorn, we're going to give you a, a Spirit Junkie card to finish off this read. For Capricorn. 
I am in sync with the flow of life. I am in sync with the flow of life. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I do think, uh, I think the ending of a missed opportunity is coming. And I think that you are going to have a divine counterpart um, popping up in the future. Just trust, keep an open mind. This is a true love. So um, I think that's it. Till next time, guys, um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, if you feel so inclined to subscribe, that'd be awesome to get over 100 or up to 100 subscribers before the end of this year. Um, until next time, guys, please take care. And I hope that 2022 will be the best year ever. Thanks, guys, for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.